بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میں نے محمد عاصم ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپ سنجینئر ٹوڈے ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین سیٹ اپ دا اے ایل بی انگریس اف یو ہیو ڈپلائڈ کلسٹر تھرو دا ٹیرا فارم اینڈ دیر از نو ای پی ایس سی ٹی ایل یوٹیلیٹی انوالو سو اینڈ آلسو ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو دا ٹپس اینڈ ٹرکس ود ریگارڈ ٹو دا ڈپلائمنٹ آف کوبرنیٹیز اف یو ڈپلائڈ through the Terraform. So simply uh, navigate to my public uh, repository which I have where I have uh, put the code for you guys so you can um, download the code. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna show you, you have your tips and tricks with regard to the deployment. Okay, so this is my public repository and the code is available for you guys. So simply navigate to this uh, uh, URL You can copy paste it or simply the easiest way I'm going to show you that simply download uh, the relevant uh, zip folder in your desktop. And also the thing I need to tell you with regard to this uh, particular deployment, uh, do not use the Windows environment because this uh, module includes the um, Terraform local exec provisioners. So, uh, um, and there is a requirement that uh, the environment must be Linux based environment. So, uh, what I'm gonna do that uh, I will be using the Linux based environment. And uh, this is the VM workstation 15 point something. So uh, either you use the virtual box or VMware. So if you have a uh, virtual, uh, virtual box already installed in your desktop, so do not install the VMware because uh, there is going to be a, a conflict with, uh, as far with regard to the network is concerned. So I highly recommend either go for the VMware or uh, VirtualBox. But I personally like VMware. It is more stable and it gives you a lot more graphics uh, than the VirtualBox. So I'm gonna simply uh, power up this machine and what I'm gonna uh, show you the tip or the tip and the trick with regard that uh, I need a Linux based environment from my Ubuntu. So I'm going to mount this folder inside my um, uh, inside my machine. So simply if I go and navigate to setting, click on setting, go to the options tab, navigate to the options tab, uh, so there is a shared folder. Uh, so what I've done, I've already added it, but I'm going to show you uh, how exactly you can uh, do that. So uh, add, press the add button, press the next button, and browse it and simply uh, navigate to the desktop. This is our uh, directory which we want uh, to be mounted inside our uh, virtual machine so i'm going to click uh, okay then next finish so um, i'm going to start the machine and i'm going to okay i am going to shut it down uh, i'm going to minimize it so uh, definitely once you start because uh, if i make it open um, uh, my video is going to be distracted and, and the work which i have done is going to be seized so there are uh, i guess uh, frames gonna be you know stuck uh, issue this sort of issue i'm i'm facing in the past so you will not be able to see the next frames so let the let uh, the machine start and we are going to deploy uh, uh, deploy this module inside uh, our uh, um, uh, ubuntu machine and what I'm gonna do in, is to simply take the shell inside our uh, Ubuntu machine. Let me refresh. Uh, this uh, video might uh, be in two parts, so I might uh, definitely uh, um, stop the video here and call it. And the first part and the next part is going to be uh, sooner, as uh, you know, to make sure that the video length is just limited in between 10 to 15 minutes so you guys not really bored so let's see whether i'm able to access my machine so let me show you that uh, let me 
minimize the video and refresh it. So hopefully, uh, uh, simply right click uh, inside the machine and uh, shift your user from uh, to super user. Uh, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the command vm uh, vm hgfs views. So from the host machine, the folder we have shared is going to mount it on our home awesome desktop mount. So uh, you see guys, this uh, mount is completed. Let me do the, let me first uh, see it into desktop and let me uh, access the mount folder. This is the mount folder, which I'm going to list. And you see, I'm able to list the directory inside uh, my folder. And I'm gonna uh, take the SSS session simply and this is going to be our Linux environment. So the IP address, uh, okay, uh, I'm not getting any IP address. Let me restart, uh, let me uh, close the network shutdown or you can use the system CT restart network manager, but I'm gonna do NMCLI networking off. Although it is already off, just simple, I do the switching on uh, on and off uh, option so you might be able to you see uh, this side so network is starting so uh, let's see whether we got uh, an IP address the IP address we are getting is this so uh, simply I'm gonna copy uh, this IP and I'm gonna take the SSS session into this particular machine uh, open any uh, command line uh, shell I'm going to just you know zoom it a little bit for you guys so SSH into this particular uh, machine and hopefully uh, we will able to access our folder inside uh, this Ubuntu machine so cd into desktop and navigate to the mount and this uh, press tab and we are looking to deploy our ALB ingress uh, without using, uh, using the EKCTL utility. So uh, the reason for making this video that if you have not used the EKCTL uh, utility, the bash script is different for the ALB ingress. So uh, the script I provided for the EKS uh, uh, for if it is deployed for the EKS if it is deployed with EKS CTL utility is going to be different and then this one. So I'm going to navigate into VPC. So press LS, uh, I'm going to uh, navigate CD into environment, dev and press LS. So uh, I'm going to remove the previous uh, Terraform state files because we are uh, deploying from the scratch and let me do a less. So there are main three files, I main .tf output and version.tf. Um, let this guy keep here, it's, it is the IAM policy and this is going to be ELB ingress. So I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to call this part one of the complete Terraform uh, deployment of Elastic Kubernetes service uh, with uh, ELB ingress. So uh, my next video will be sooner. Uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.